Hi guys. We, yes, I'm here with uh, the one and only, the founder of Byteball and lead developer Tony. Um, so yeah, uh, we're here in Berlin and uh, I'm very curious uh, how he came up with the whole idea. And we were just talking about that. So yeah, um, you want to say something to the people, Tony? Uh, well, you asked how I came up with the idea. Uh, well, I got interested in, in cryptocurrencies in, uh, about, about four years ago, in 2013, and started looking around. And it was uh, in 2014 that uh, I came up with the idea of uh, uh, throw, throwing out the blocks and getting uh, the transaction, transactions connected directly into a deck. Uh, that's what. Uh, when I started designing uh, Bitewall, uh, it was called Snowball in the first. Yeah. Initially. Uh, well, I didn't publish anything uh, about, about until about two, two years later, uh, when uh, it was uh, the design was finished and uh, the implementation was finished. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you were talking about uh, yeah the idea to link um, transactions directly to each other. Eh? So. But 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 isn't like um, I, I I don't understand fully myself the advantages of a duck. Eh? So I'm very curious how you how you got to that idea. Like why did you why did you do that uh, link transactions to each other? And and also I don't understand because transactions uh, well somebody needs to they go into a block because they need to be validated. They need to be all checked if they are uh, uh, valid. Eh? And so. If you link transactions immediately with each other, there is no validation. Eh? So, 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 so I don't fully understand how how that works. Then, oh, well, there is validation when uh, when every transaction is added. Every new transaction has to has to validate uh, every node has to validate everything that it sees and has to build its own version version of the deck uh, and the motivation was uh, to, to get it simpler because you had two, two entities transactions and blocks and um, then there is a variable uh, how many transactions you fit into the block how often you uh, mine the blocks and those variables are pretty arbitrary you don't know what, what's right to choose. Uh, this is uh, maybe it's solvable, but it, it's a lot of complexity, mm -hmm. uh, which I try to, 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 to avoid. And to make it uh, just simpler, have only one entity, one basic entity, and connect them uh, mm -hmm. directly. So, so, so every client, every wallet is a node. Is that the case in Bitebol? Every every full node, yeah, yeah. every full node every, has to every, validate yeah. every transaction. Yeah. That it and, and and a wallet is is a full node unless you choose a light wallet. Eh? Yes, but, uh, a full wallet is uh, a full wallet is a node. Okay, yes. okay, yeah, and that's the case also in Bitcoin. Eh? A Bitcoin wallet is also a node. Eh? Yes, it's, it's also the case in, yeah. in Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, uh, when there are blocks in Bitcoin, in other currencies, uh, there are people who mine the blocks, okay, and they are sort of gatekeepers. They can allow you to to if they can include your transaction in the, into the block, or they can refuse to do it. Yes, yes. And there are a lot of uh, variables uh, that that are quite uncertain. Uh, that makes you uh, uh, not very confident when or uh, whether at all your transaction will be included in, into the block. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It wow. might not be included at all if you pay too low a fee. Mm -hmm. So it's it feels uh, a, a little uncertain, mm -hmm. uh, and 
uh, when we speak about a currency, uh, usually people want certainty. They want to know uh, what will happen uh, after they do that something. Okay, okay. So, so if you send a, a transaction uh, with Byteball in a DAG to to another person, that other person is also a node. Hey, if you have a full wallet, and so, um, and so. Um, so, but what's missing here is then uh, the, the validation uh, process that has not happened yet. But you are saying that actually, yes, because the, no the other note of the other person is also checking himself whether the transaction is valid. Is that the case? Yes, yes. They check every transaction that they see before adding it to, to their version. Ah. Okay. ah, okay, okay, okay. And the beauty of the protocol and for uh, of any uh, distributed protocol is that uh, independent uh, nodes uh, do the same job according to the same rules and uh, the purpose of the protocol is that they arrive at the same result. They build eventually the same database, the same version of history, uh, what happened uh, what, was, what was the history of each coin? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so. Oh, look, we have the nice drinks here. There you go. Looks very good. Looks very Enjoy. good. Thanks so much. So yeah, uh, Tony, uh, let's uh, let's cheer the glasses. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers eh? on a successful project. Yes, I'm, I'm very, very impressed how, uh, how Tony uh, has come up with, uh, with this project. I love the name, Byteball. I think it's really a cool name, actually. But, uh, but just um, when I installed... Well, actually, at first, my brother and a friend, uh, they, they talked about this free giveaway, this new project, eh? Byteball. And, and, and if you register your Bitcoin, uh, you get free coins. And, and my first impression was like, Nah, that's, that's a really a stupid idea <laughs> to give uh, free coins to everybody. What's gonna happen is, okay, you, you give these coins to these, these Bitcoiners and that they will just dump them. Eh? That's what I was, I was thinking that. So, so, because they don't put in value, they will not value it. And, and so they will dump it. So that was my, my first um, impression. But, um, yeah. Uh, I did change my mic just in time uh, <laughs> to participate in the first distribution. Um, um, I don't know what the, 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 the click was. Um, but yeah, just by, by reading up, um, yeah, uh, 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 it made sense what you were saying. Yeah, like the more people that have the currency, the more valuable the currency becomes. Uh, that's true. Uh, the more people that use it, the more valuable it becomes. So, so it makes sense. A business model where you basically distribute them for free in exchange for real users. That, that can be a profitable transaction. Huh? So, and also, I, I, I understood that, okay, if you then want to distribute, it's actually a big problem because who you're going to give coins to and in what way. Huh? So, so it made sense, your solution that, okay, you can use the existing Bitcoin network to distribute based on how many coins you have, you get a certain amount of coins. So it made sense to me and it incentivized me also. That was also interesting because if you would have given like the same amount for a person, yeah, so it doesn't matter how many Bitcoin you register, you always get the same amount. I would, I would not have participated. It, uh, it happened before with Nam. That's how Nam did it, and and uh, and for me that was not interesting um, because I know many sock puppets will be created, and so all these people that create 100 sock puppets, they have 100 times more coins than me, uh, and why would I participate in that? It would be very unfair. Huh? It would be very unfair. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you put a lot of thought into into that? Uh, how to that that free distribution? Because you were the first one to come up with this, no? Uh, no, not yeah. There was also clams, indeed. Eh? Yes, there was also clams. Yeah. Um, I didn't put uh, too much thought, but I didn't see any other options actually because the system, the the, big, the biggest uh, uh, cryptocurrency 
was and still is Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, it was uh, evident that we should use uh, this existing community uh, to be ba based on it. And uh, since uh, the membership in the community is essentially anonymous, uh, I can't give the same amount to every person uh, because it will be it, it, it will be easily uh, circumvented the mm -hmm. restrictions that I could uh, impose. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only reasonable way uh, to to distribute was to give proportional to to the amount. Uh, of coins that they already own. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. I think it's it's genius. Uh, as so many things, I love also your your slogan. Like simplicity is beauty, uh, and I really agree with that. I I, I, I find that the case in architecture, um, in cars like um, in designs eh, like it, I, I love that idea I, and, and I really and I it's also what I experienced when I installed bite ball um, the wallet looks so simple I understood it's like used by other people also it's a kind of standard wallet that, that you can like build on is that correct like the wallet is I use, is used by different coins is that the case or, or is it just the interface or I uh, used the interface of uh, existing Bitcoin wallet, mm -hmm. Copay. Uh, uh, I liked it very much because of its uh, user friendliness. Yes. It was uh, unlike uh, most other Bitcoin wallets. It was quite. Uh, it looked good. It was easy to use to access various cook functions that users need most of all. Uh, that's why I. Uh, instead of inventing something, I use uh, this uh, uh, existing yeah. interface. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very smart, very smart. To me, I didn't know that. So, so, so I was uh, when I installed the Bite by Wall. For me, it looked like wow, super simple uh, to use, and I love that. I was, it was genius, and 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 uh, that you have the bytes, and then just one swipe, and you have your black bytes. I really love that interface. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that's still missing is like if you wanna. Like I, I like about Airbits that you just insert how many US dollars or how many Euro, euros you want to pay eh? and then it converts immediately how much Bitcoin that is. Eh? That's not the case here. Eh? Eh, was that uh, chosen uh, with a reason that you don't have this US dollar or Euro thing in, in it? Or is that for the future plans? Uh, maybe we will add it in the future, but I just want to uh, keep the interface uh, simple not to crowd it with uh, information yes, yes. Uh, we have uh, uh, the amount we have optionally uh, unconfirmed amount uh, we can we have uh, smart wallets which yeah. are sort of sub wallets in the wallet so we have already uh, a lot of information to display on, on the front page uh, and I feel uh, uh, not quite sure about adding anything more that would too much information is uh, too hard to perceive. Uh, yes. uh, I'm for, for user friendliness for simplicity. Yeah. yeah, I agree. But uh, so, how does it work if you want to use uh, the wallet uh, to pay merchants? Um, like, you have to do with the calculator the conversion into bytes then? Yeah? So that, well, or how I do you see that? that the merchant usually uh, does the compilation and yeah. uh, make a payment request for the exact yes. amount. Ah, oh, that's right. So, so it's on his end that you see, okay, so many euros, that's so many bytes, and then you scan it, and then, okay, yeah, it makes yes, sense. Yes, merchants should, should do the uh, complex mathematical tasks. Yes. That uses. Yes, yes, that makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool, that's really cool. So yeah, uh, I, I find it very interesting your idea to simplify the, the, the blockchain and, and have the uh, transactions sent directly to each other and, 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 and each uh, wallet checks himself, uh, whether it's um, a valid transaction or not. Um, but uh, but um, I understand that that's not sufficient uh, to, to, to avoid um, 
uh, double spend or, or to avoid someone inflating the supply? Like, why do? Why is there the system of witnesses? Well, the witnesses are exactly to avoid double spends. Um, when we have the deck, uh, we have we need order of transactions to to decide which of the conflicting transactions, uh, conflicting double spends, which of them uh, to uh, accept and which to ignore. Yeah. And. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. establish order, we need uh, some uh, something to some source of uh, trusted timestamps, uh, and we trust certain users uh, to to post their transactions only serially uh, to do it uh, one after another. They are not allowed to fork to make two parallel transactions on the deck uh, that are not uh, related to each other. Wait, 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 that's a little too complex for me. Um, so, 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 so the risk is if you just have the nodes that, that you have a cheater and that he basically puts in a false transaction and he claims he has a certain amount of coins that he doesn't have, right? That, that, that's the problem, eh? That needs to be solved? Uh, not claims, but uh, if he, he claims the coins that he doesn't have, it will be immediately re rejected by everybody, just by protocol rules. Mm. What we need to um, solve the problem, we need to uh, solve the problem of double spans. And what is that, a double spam? When you have a coin and you uh, can sign a spend transaction two times, you can spend the same amount uh, first time to one merchant, yes. the second time to another merchant. Yes. And uh, we don't want uh, two merchants to be the product this way. And, uh, if this happens, we can't absolutely prevent it because uh, you, are, you have a private key, you can sign as many transactions as you like, uh, you can send, send all the transactions to, to the peers, uh, the peers will see them and then they have to decide. Uh, they can accept only one transaction as valid. Uh, and uh, we use uh, witnesses to to make uh, in the deck to make a main chain uh, that is supposed to uh, go through uh, through transactions that were posted by witnesses and uh, all nodes that. Uh, validate transactions, they build the main chain and every transaction that they see, uh, it, is, uh, it has a place on this main chain. And uh, if we have two contacting transactions, uh, the, the one that is earlier on the main chain is accepted. Yeah, yeah. The other, it still exists on the deck, mm -hmm. but it is uh, deemed void. Okay. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, and, and so, um, the witnesses. So they, they um, basically, it's a bit. They have the same as a normal note. They have a. They have the the, the copy of the duck. Eh? Uh, where all the transactions are in, in a certain order, uh, and that's the same as the nodes, but they just have a higher authority. The, 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 the normal node will, um, will take the order from the, 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 the witness, his duck is correct, uh, so he basically decides the, the order, um, and so the node can't order themselves or uh, they order themselves themselves by looking at the transactions uh, posted previously by the witnesses <laughs> so um, the witnesses uh, many people tend to compare witnesses to miners yeah. 
in terms of they are uh, somewhat special. Um, but I think a better comparison is to compare witnesses with uh, checkpointing authorities. In some coins, uh, we have uh, checkpoints, uh, and the checkpoints help to establish order, correct order of transactions. And in all other coins uh, uh, where checkpoints exist, uh, checkpoints are posted by uh, a single uh, developer on a node. So it is a single point of failure. Yes. His keys can be stolen, mm -hmm. and uh, the network is essentially mm -hmm. captured. Mm -hmm. uh, in Bible we have 12 checkpoint authorities. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, it is more distributed. Mm -hmm. It's more it's more safe. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, and so it is. It is more like check, checkpoints uh, rather than minus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I understand the concept of a checkpoint. It's basically um, a, a point. Uh, you used to have it also with NXT. Uh, it was a proof of stake. Is a proof of stake coin, um, and that was the big criticism by the proof of work uh, community that it was using checkpoints. It was inserting checkpoints from time to time. Um, uh, so, but the purpose of the checkpoints was to um, basically make sure that nobody can roll back the blockchain before the before the before the che check so, um, checkpoint. Uh, what was the name? <laughs> yeah. Checkpoint is that the name? Checkpoint. Yeah. So, so it's basically um, uh, just a point that you say, okay, everything before is true and will always be true. Yeah. yeah, 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 and nobody can change that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, and, and now we have uh, twelve checkpoint authorities, uh, and they are trusted to post only serially uh, and to establish the right order of events. Somebody uh, malicious can create. Uh, uh, an alternative version of history, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but since we trust that the witnesses are playing on the on the on the honest side of history, uh, they we, we won't find uh, witness offered no uh, transactions on the uh, on the alternative alternative history, and we'll be, be able to easily see. Uh, which version of the history is correct. If we have two, two versions of history, uh, uh, one version has witnesses, uh, the other version doesn't have them. We uh, easily select the version that has witnesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's very complex for me, um, but it's very interesting. I'm learning slowly. <laughs> But it's it's really uh, yeah yeah um, yeah it's very interesting yeah yeah and how do you like the cocktail? It's very good, good. Yeah, very good. good stuff, eh? Delicious cocktail. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, how is the project going for you?